afternoon. Hey, Chloe. It's Chloe's Toy Time. How are you, Chloe? Good. Good. What are and we doing today? We're going to be doing an easy bake oven. And there was a brownie mix that came with it, but we used it all to make our own brownies. Mm -hmm, to try and it out. These are like tools. And we're going to slip real quickly, slip on my apron and cooking. Yeah, and before we do that, Chloe, let's pick a let's pick a recipe. So let's show what we have. We can make chocolate truffles. I These little guys here. Are. They almost look like little brownie balls with Aww. sprinkles. Cute. We also have two cupcakes. Red velvet cupcakes. Let's take a look at this. Look how cute those and it comes with the cupcake pan which you would need. Yeah. And so here is also a cookie. Chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, I love this. But look at this. Look how special these look because they look like they have a layer of maybe some fudge or something underneath. Now this is, yeah, and this is the ultimate, the ultimate easy bake. It does come with this little pan and, and this little, this. yeah, that one end pushes it into the oven, right? And Chloe? one end, like, this is the end that pushes it in. Yep. This is the end you scoop it out. That's right. You scoop your tray out with. She's yeah. so good. So what you have to do in here, though, folks, one thing I will tell you before we even get started is before you even start making your batter, turn your Easy Bake Oven on for 20 minutes to preheat. So it's um, nice and hot and ready. Yeah, it's already preheating up. Right That's right. Now. Don't put your fingers in there, sweetness. So, yeah, so while it's preheating, we're going to we're gonna make a packet. Chloe, did you pick which one you want to do today? Do you want to do the truffles, the cupcakes, or the chocolate chip cookies? The cupcakes have a cool little muffin or cupcake pan that comes with it. What is your choice on Miss Chloe's Toy Time? My choice is the chocolate truffles. The chocolate truffles. Yeah. All right, so this is the pick I of the day. hardly pronounce it. That's okay. <laughs> She's missing teeth. Oh. Chloe's lost both of her teeth. Okay, we'll be back as soon as we get ready to start mixing this up. And get my apron. Get your apron, baby. Alrighty, we are back, and Chloe has on her Halloween apron. All uh, right. My That's very cute. She decided to do these truffles. So, um, the cool thing about the refill kits that you get, they have two servings. So, when you get the oven, it only comes with one little thing to make brownies. But when you buy the refill packets, it looks like they come with two, two different, um, or I should say, two servings in each box. So, you can make it twice. So, Chloe, go ahead and open up this box and pull the ingredients out. Let's see what we're going to need to mix this up. Okay. Get this box open. Okay, so I see. What do you have? Okay, so we have the extractions. I'll take so those. Know. And then maybe the those are of our icing. Packets. Maybe the sprinkles. with an icing. Chocolate. Um, okay, so it comes with two devil's food cake mixes. That's what the truffles are made out of, is devil's food cake, a chocolate cake. These are the um, little sprinkles that come on. Ooh, you sprinkle on. There's two packs, of course, for two batches. Oh. And the frosting here. So Let me what? Let squeeze that up and get it ready. Well, we're gonna have to add some water there, sweet pea. Okay, so we are going to make this. We're gonna need, according to the instructions, we are going to need the pan, the baking, or the pan tool, the baking pan, water, cooking spray, measuring spoons, a mixing bowl, yep, spoons, butter knife, kitchen timer, paper towels, wax paper, or plastic, so a lot of stuff. So We have some of the stuff here. We have our bowl, and we have a tray, and we also have this. Okay, so first up, what mm -hmm. Chloe is going to do, what Chloe is going to do is she is going to cut open here a packet of the devil's food cake. Yep. And pour it in a bowl. Yeah, and then my mom's going to probably, you know, get some water. Can you cut right across the top and dump that and hold it over the bowl in case it, it's uh, cut, like, right about here, Mommy. Gonna, like, and it says we're going to need... Quickly. Yeah. Let me get my it says we're going to need five, what is it, teaspoons of water for this mixture. Up here, no, across the top, baby, across the top, where I shook it down a little okay. bit so it doesn't... You want to hold the pack? Right here. Yeah. You hold it and cut across. Okay. Go for it. Dump it in. Oh, all of it. Oh, it looks so chocolatey. Okay, is there five teaspoons of water. I'm gonna get a little cup. 
so you can get Guys, the water. look at that chocolate mix that's in the bowl. It's so good looking. It's so I'm, good looking. Oh, let me smell it. Uh, it smells so chocolatey. No, I need you to... smell this, Mom. Okay. It's a good smell. It smells like chocolate, all right. Give me five of these filled to the top into that bowl. Okay, so... Wait a minute, did I get the right one? Yes, okay. <laughs> I'll tip it sideways. So, they are bumping the bowl. Here, you dip your... No, dip it in there and get the one. Like a cup. There you go. One. Two. Make sure it's all the way full. Full. Bleh. Yep. Three. Four. Oh, turn it. Four. One more, baby. You're doing good. And five. Not quality. I'm going to mix this up. It's already kind of like chocolate, chocolatey wet. Don't flip it too much. I'll flip the head bowl. Remember to press down. Remember how we had to. We had to press the brown mix down. So we're going to mix this batter up really good. Get it fine. And next what it says to do is this little pan, we need to spray it with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. And then like take a towel and just make sure that it's evenly spread throughout. So while Chloe's stirring, I'm going to give this a good spray. How's it going, Toodle? It's going. There we go. Um, well. <laughs> Then I'm going to take a paper towel like this and just kind of smear it around evenly on the baking pan. It's getting in my spoon and I don't want to clean it off. Okay, I'm going to help her. We're going to mix this up and then we'll go to the next step. Can I get it in my spoon? Just get it. Mix it, Chloe, can you? Chocolate mix. Tip it real good so they can see it. It so looks spill. really, 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 really like icing. So this is what it should look like here. Now Chloe is going to spoon it and smooth it into the... Ooh. Newly greased pan. Can you spoon that in there? The whole the whole bit of it. The whole bit of it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can, kind of. Maybe. Oh no! It's so... Ew. Okay, now scoop the next bit out, and we'll work on getting what's left in the spoon. And then we'll spread it out evenly in the pan. And there's. Don't get it on the edges. Try not to. We'll have to wipe it off, put it down in with the rest. I think we're going to need it all. Give me another spoon, please. Mm. Scoop it off. Let's use this baby spoon and see if it works. It's my little spoon. It's really my spoon, but... Okay, so, hold up the yeah. little pan, babe. Here we have smoothed it out. It was not easy. The batter was not the willing to come off the spoon. I had to use my finger. Now mm -hmm. Chloe is going to go ahead and put this in the oven for us. Goes in that in, babe. And you'll use your little tool. Wait, I want the viewers to see what's inside. How you do it? Okay. My head. Oh, coming around. Okay, so. Um, Turn, no, the other, sideways. Oh. See this picture. Sorry. Okay. She is sliding it in. Oh, no. Make sure it's even. Oh, we've got to talk it all I over. I need a napkin. Okay, so then you use your little tool here. Oh. This, this flat end here. She's going to shove it until it goes up to here. Okay. So what you do is you, when you push it into the oven, you use this, this flat edge and you push it up to these marks here and it'll push it into the oven. And if you look into the Easy Bake, if you guys can see in there, it's you shot. can't, yeah, you can't see the tray. A little door shuts behind it. Very cool. Yeah, coming back so, around. on the back. Yes. Is the set. So cool. there's where we'll pull it out when it's time. And you also see the little oven. Yep. So in 20 minutes, we are going to pull out our cake mix. Yep. And then it'll be time to do some, some yep. crazy stuff. We're going to get the icing together around that yep. time. Uh, ball them up. You're going to make little balls. And 
with your icing mixed in, and then you're going to sprinkle your sprinkles on top, and then you'll have these little truffles. So spatula or little remover thingy. Slide it right underneath of it, honey. Underneath, not above it. I'm trying to. Mama, help. Now, carefully. Ta-da! Okay, watch out. It's very hot. We're going to sit this on the counter and let it cool, it says. Okay. Now, while this is cooling, here it is. Whoa! Camera's trying to tip on me today. Well, doesn't feel done. Doesn't feel done at all. Well, we're going to go with it. No kid. So now we're finished with our Easy Bake. We can go ahead and turn this off to let it stop, uh, start to cool. It's not easy for my fingers to get around it. While our little pan is cooking or cooling down, Chloe is going to start to mix up. When she gets in her seat there, she can't get in her chair. All right. So here we go. This is the frosting. I'm going to cut this for Chloe. She's going to pour it in the bowl. She's going to add exactly, what did we say, one, one teaspoon. What teaspoon is it? The biggest one on there, baby, the same one you used before. She's going to mix this in with the frosting and stir it with her spoon. You want to pour it in the bowl? Ooh. Nice work. Come on, Norman. Good job. Let me smell it and see if it has a smell. She loves the smell of chocolate, but who doesn't love the smell of chocolate? All right, get your water in there. Oh, yeah, chocolate tea. Teaspoon. Give us a good dip. Fill her up. Nope, get a, get a full day. We're going to need it. There you go. Drop it in our bowl. Now, remember how I showed you with the spoon? Kind of rub, stir it and press. Stir and press. I don't know how that's enough water, but... I don't either. That doesn't look quite right. Here is the trick to this. You have to, when you're mixing it, it's not so much stirring as it's taking and you keep pressing, pressing, pressing. But that's still, it is so hard. There's no way possible that that is enough for icing. So, Chloe, go ahead and push that water down into it. Mix that water up real good if you don't mind. Get this closer to her. Push it down like Mama showed you. Pressing, pressing. Kind of takes the bowl with it. Yeah, so hang on twice. For here, and we're going to put our cake on that. And then what we're going to do is, once we're definitely sure that it's cooled enough, up, up enough, we are going to ball it up. Uh, I need it to. And mix some icing in with it to make the truffles. So I'm going to. This one side just does not look done in the cake. It just looks too gooey, but it doesn't look done at all. Look, it just that does. That looks oh. overdone. That doesn't look done at all. Um, oh, this one's not flipped over. It's okay. All right. So there's all the cake. Yeah. Okay. It smells like the brownies we made. Water going on that. Okay. Oh, I love it. What it says to do is you need to take the icing that we have, this little ball of icing that's very dry, and we're going to cut it in half. We're going to use half and mix it in with our cake balls. And then it says to spread the rest onto the, the little... Well, I don't know. I just want to eat it. <laughs> okay. I don't want icing on mine. You have to. This is part of it. you got to roll it. You're going to make cake balls. You're going to... <laughs> Chloe doesn't want to... The icing we had the last time wasn't very good, was it? On the brownie. No. Thing. I ate one with... I ate a brownie without... So this is what you've got to do. you got to take all that cake you just made and the icing... And flop it around into that. Yep. So I guess it doesn't... <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like some, the bar. some of the cake is really done, and it's like really crunchy, and then some of it is just total goo now that it's mixing in with the icing. I just want to eat it because of the smell. It's so good. Now, babe, I'm, I'm doing this part for you because it's nasty. Now, you're going to have to break it up into six little balls and roll them out into six little balls. Six Can you do that? Balls. Can you do so, that? like flatten them out when you... No, make, make little balls. balls. Oh, no. okay. I get that closer to you. Break it up. Make six little ones and lay them on your wax paper. Oh, You're going to watch my hands off. Okay. 
I want a chocolate. <laughs> You'll have one. Roll them up. Six. There's one. Last one. Where's one, two, three, four, five? Oh, I dropped it on my own night down. That's good because I have my eye, my apron on. That's right. That's where they come in handy. Now let's go and come and hum the dum de. Hum the dum de. Okay. Hum the dum de. So, I don't know, maybe the easiest way is, well, Chloe, you want to go wash your hands? I'm going to try, while she goes and washes her hands, I'm going to try to do this, and then I'm going to let her put the sprinkles on, because I don't know, this stuff is just not spreading. I wonder if it'd be easier if you take your, gross. Yeah, if anybody's going to want to eat these once you have your fingers all over them. Ew. So this is my attempt to geez, put icing, spread the icing on, because you definitely are going to be able to do this any other way. It's too thick. There's one. Okay, I'm going to try to put this little bit on here. This. And maybe I'll eat one now. <laughs> well, you have to put sprinkles on it. I know. I don't want sprinkles on this one. Well, go ahead and eat that one. Let's just get it. Yay. Tell us how the cake tastes while I'm trying to slather this stuff on here. It's nasty. Yuck. It's good. Does it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta wash my hands off. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands off. Pretty good, you guys. <laughs> All right. Mm. Last but not least, mm. these sprinkles. But Mom can't have them. No. Okay, so I'm going to cut this open while she's enjoying her devil's fruit cake. Mm. Um, excuse me on my eating. <laughs> All right, here are the little tiny sprinkles. We're going to... Oh! Now just try to roll them around in it. <laughs> Look at those cool sprinkles, guys! Yeah, just roll them... Try to get them to stick. Why won't this pile? Does it have any icing on it? Probably not no. a lot. If they don't, it's going to be hard, but you know uh, what? Stick, stick, stick. Push it kind of. Ooh, mine's ready to go. Okay, Chloe's going to try one with sprinkles and icing. Mm. What do you think? Better with or without? With them? Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, my camera. So here you go, folks. This is as good as we could get. This, our icing was very thick. Do I have to eat all those? Um. <laughs> <laughs> So we tried it. So hopefully you guys will have better luck if you make the truffles. Because the cake was working good, but it only cooked, cooked too much on one side, not enough on the other. Then the icing was extremely thick using the teaspoon. I actually had a whole other teaspoon. It was still really too thick to spread anything. Um, but Chloe liked the taste of the cake. It didn't taste bad, though. They look not very pretty. Go for it, girlfriend. But they... Tastes good, so we'll go with it. Do you give it a thumbs up, two thumbs up, thumbs down? What do you give it? Ah, oh, she gives it two thumbs up. Okay, well, hooray for the Easy Bake Ultimate Oven. Thanks for watching Chloe's Toy Time and join us again soon, guys. Bye.